Now, 70-year-old Arun Shah's love for birds, her surname, go the extra mile to feed and care for the wild creatures that have come to depend on him for food and water. In a rare friendship between bird and man, Shah spends his money to buy food and water for the birds, a tradition he has sustained for years that has seen the birds learn to circle back to the same spot every day to grab a bite. Here are the details of Shah's rare hobby that has become a lifeline for the birds. Early morning at a parking lot outside one of the malls in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. The sound of the chirping birds welcomes us to this open space. The sight of birds nibbling at seeds, scattered on the ground and flapping their wings in flight is a rare sight. This appears to be a feeding ground for these wild creatures. So what is the story behind this activity? It's just humanity. Just out of my heart, I, 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 I like it. Akiingia hapa, once anaingia pale wale wandege wanamjua, wanateremuka wote, wanakuja kumulaki. Meet 70-year-old Harun Shah, nicknamed Mkenya. He is the man behind the bird activity. His background in the tourism sector, selling artifacts and souvenirs will see him develop a love for the birds. Just love them and then I feed them birds. The good thing about these birds is when you see them, even if, you, if the grains are there, they will not eat. They, if they are fed, if they are full, they will not eat. They will only eat when they want to eat. His fascination will turn into a lifetime hobby as he feeds the creatures. Every week he drives to Ngara in Nairobi to purchase at least 60 kilograms of grain for the birds that will push them for one week. Shah is a trader with a shop along Mwindi Mbingu Street. Before he gets to his shop, he has to make a pit stop to feed the birds. A tradition that has seen the birds come to rely on him and they are able to spot him from a distance. So what motivates him to feed the winged animals? Yeah, yeah, even on Sundays I come, even on holidays I come. Unless, unless I'm not in Nairobi, unless I'm out, out of time I don't come, but otherwise I come every day. Hii wanyama haina mwenyewe ni ya msukuni, naeza sema ni ya msukuni, sababu hakuna mtu amba na zishugulikia, isipokuwa ule mtu amba mejitolea na roya ke. His grain supplier, Maureen Othiambo in Ngara, had this to say about her long-term customer and bird lover. Mkenya ni my customer, ananunua kila wiki, ananunua kilo 60, ananunua mtama, mawele, kila wiki. According to Shah, there are approximately 400 birds that land in the parking lot every day to eat the grain. When he steps into the parking lot, it appears to be the queue for the birds to descend for their daily meal. They should not kill wildlife. Why? Because they are innocent people. Just like us, we human beings, we are innocent. They are also innocent. Why kill them? They have, they have got also life. Ni vigumu sana kupata mtu kama huyo, lakini kwa sababu ya roo hila ambao watu wakona wengine, roo ya utu, ndio inafanya huyu mzee, anajichukua, anenda anachukua mzigo yake, anachukua na sahawu, hata chakula chake chatumbo, anachukua chakula, analetea wanyama, wanakula. This is a tradition he has held for the last five years and has budgeted for to ensure the birds have food in the wake of the changing environment and scarcity of food due to climate change and rapid development. No, I only know this place. Okay. Yeah. But if might be there, are you... Yeah, ready? yeah. If there's uh, anything else here, we, okay, we, I can do it. Additionally, he is calling on Kenyans to support wildlife and protect the country's flora and fauna for the sake of future generations.